Are you trying to start a YouTube live stream from Zoom, but you keep getting this error message saying the user is not enabled for live streaming? In this video, I'll be showing you why you are seeing this error message and how to seamlessly enable live streaming on your YouTube channel so you can start streaming directly from Zoom or any other third-party streaming software you may want to use. Now, let's get into it. Hello and welcome. My name is Tokwe Aomashe and on this channel, I share YouTube tips and I also do channel reviews so that you can build a successful YouTube channel. Now, if you're new here and you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell below so you don't miss anything. All right, we are talking about seamlessly sending a live stream from Zoom or any third-party streaming software like StreamYard and the likes to your YouTube channel. Now, no matter the software you are trying to stream from, you need to be sure your channel settings are right so as to avoid having issues when it's time to start your live stream. Now I'm in my Zoom window and I want to share this meeting on YouTube. So I click on more, live on YouTube, and I'll select the account I need to use, followed by the channel I want to stream on. And then here is the issue. The error message here says the user is not enabled for live streaming, okay? Now it's asking me to check the link right here, which would lead me to how I can fix this issue. Now you can find the link in the description below. It's simply youtube.com forward slash features. So I'm going to just copy this link and paste it in my browser so I can go to where I need to fix this error. Okay. So right here, I'm in the channel settings of the channel I want to stream into and I'm in the feature eligibility tab of the channel settings. Here you can see I have some default features already enabled like video uploads, playlist creations, you know, adding collaborators to playlists, adding videos to playlists and all the likes already enabled automatically by creating the channel. But here we have features that we are eligible for, but not enabled yet. And these features YouTube says require phone verification so now these features include being able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes being able to add custom thumbnails being able to live stream right and of course being able to appeal if you have copyright issues and all of that now the eligibility criteria here is verifying the phone number that is associated with the channel okay so hit the blue button to verify your phone number and follow the steps that you see on the screen. I personally prefer to be contacted by text rather than a call, but you can choose any one that you prefer. I'm in Nigeria, of course, that has been automatically selected. And now it's time to put in my phone number and click on this blue button here that says get code. Now this code is gonna drop on my phone as an SMS and I'm gonna be typing that in to this next window. Here we go. Now I'll click on submit and that's it. The channel has been verified. Okay. Now if I go back to the link youtube.com forward slash features, I will see that now I have the features enabled, right? Can you see that? But that's not all. Now that you are done with your channel verification and live streaming is enabled, it will take 24 hours for live streaming to be fully activated on your channel. Now, just to be sure that the activation process has started, you should visit your live streaming studio to check. So let's do that as our next step. Now, this is the channel I've been trying to stream on. Now, if I click on create, I'll see a drop down here that gives me an option to go live. Now, this is gonna take me to the live streaming studio. Now, you're very likely to see this message in your studio saying your channel will be ready for live streaming in 24 hours. And once activated, 
you can go live instantly, right? Now, if you're not seeing this message, you might be seeing a screen like this asking you to start a live stream now or schedule a later date. Now, this will not work yet, okay? And even if you try it, you will end up with an error message like this. So what this just basically means is wait for 24 hours. Now, after 24 hours, if you try to stream again from Zoom, you will see that it will be totally seamless. Now, speaking of live streaming on YouTube, we all know these videos tend to be much longer than regular uploads. And this brings up the question, how do you keep people watching your long live streams, right? Now, if you want to learn how I manage to get more than average retention levels on my YouTube videos, you want to watch this video up here where I share 10 audience retention hacks for YouTube and you want to watch that video right now, okay? That's it right there. I'll see you in the next video and until then, keep showing up and keep crushing it. Bye.